I love brushing my teeth. It feels so good. I love a good set of teeth, you know? Don't you? Like, oh, man. If I can just like sit and stare at like, just like a, such a nice smile, like, oh my gosh. It actually kind of like makes me like want to eat them, like eat their smile. Like their smile is so delicious that I need to like chew on it. Yeah. Not that I want to chew on anybody's smile right now or anything. No. That's not happening. Um, what's actually happening? Sure, let's just go like Mango Vulnerable Town. <laughs> um, since landing back in Boise, I am able to witness some things that were like patterns or things that kind of came up along my road while I was hanging out by myself. So I'm like, oh, cool, that thing's happening. Now I get to know me. I know me more now. Great. Um, for example, my, the work, the pattern with like work, like as soon as I drop into a place, business can get rolling. And now that I'm like here and business is rolling, I'm like, hey, I kind of need to be here. At least while the weather's warm, like this is definitely home base. Like I love it here so much, but um, okay. Other thing that was happening was uh, a general attraction to not all, but like probably like 50% of like the female population, um, like a sexual like desire kind of attraction. And um, it would just like come up when I'd be hanging out with my lady friends um, and I was like, oh my gosh, geez, I need to like, I got needs coming up and I would do things to like take care of those needs. Um, there's a lot of things that I can do for myself to take care of my like own physical needs. Um, exercising, feeding myself super delicious, whatever I want, um, bathing myself, rubbing my skin sometimes, you know, just generally like loving on myself along with like masturbation and, but like I have more needs than that. I actually have more touch needs than that and just trying to balance it. So it's like, it works pretty well when I have like a little bit of love from another human and then like some time to love myself and then it's like new and fun and interesting. And I have some love with another human and that's new and fun and interesting. And I have love with myself and that's new and fun and interesting because I've had this like counterbalance of energy somehow. Um, so this back and forth thing is really nice. Um, I have, I'm <laughs> noticing a very strong desire for a, a large, relationship a like a significant um thing like i'm i want that i think i don't know if i'm ready for that <laughs> i must be because i want it i feel like the desire is coming up which means like that's coming i think maybe um yeah first like something big like real like okay like i want to like dive and sink my teeth into like something um and I think I need to because it's like, I'm hanging out with like people and I just kind of have like a general attraction to like all of my married friends, all of them, every single one of you or the ones with like partners. It's like all of my unavailable friends, I like hang out with them and I'm like, yeah, it's obnoxious, sorry. Pardon my ferocious sexual energy that just is like, you know, I tell my closest friends like, hey, like every wife needs a mistress, right? Like all the wives need a mistress. That'd be cool. Um, since that's not really the reality of things, um, I'll go for something more significant but I just find myself like a lover so I can stop trying to like prey on all my friends. Um, sorry. Whew. It's like <laughs> desire just kind of like takes over if you don't get your needs met, you know? So like, 
I seem to, you know, I think I'm doing good balancing everything. Um, blah, 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 blah. So I've got like some friends, some situations, some loves that are like developing and I'm not really sure how, like what they're developing into. It's all going nice and slow, which is really great. I've never gone slow on everything ever in my life. Um, and because I'm like wildly scared of like commitment and I'm like jaded from like past relationships and like when I witness like couples doing things together I'm often like annoyed I'm like oh I actually like don't like look at them they have to like talk to each other about everything Ugh, I don't want to do that um I don't know what I want conflicting I want love I want ultimate freedom autonomy independence and I want somebody to come home and cuddle to at night yeah or somebody's doesn't have to always be the same human um anyways and that's developing and it's fun and nice um but yeah it's on my mind whatever blah 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 uh, mango is in love with everybody ah <laughs> uh, yeah Okay, cool. So, yeah. Um, oh, I guess let's talk about the mural uh, situation. That's cool. I have um, brought on two apprentices, two good friends of mine, and I'm very happy about it. It's cool because what's happening is um, it's like a restructuring of corporate town. Like, I'm not, I'm not against capitalism okay like i'm all for like like i like economy and money and i like having th nice things so like i appreciate that but like i don't really like re working for corporations it's not fun it's not free it's very robotic to me and so i get a chance here to like start an organization and run it the way that fits me and like because it's two family friends like two squishy friends that are my apprentices it's like a whole new kind of relationship. It's a friendship, partnership, business relationship kind of thing, you know? Anyways, and so it was like, you know, I can like hug my employees for a long time and tell them I love them and I can like massage their shoulders and like, be sweet you know and then when conflicts come up because we're all like now we've strived to become great communicators and we're all practicing with one another it's the perfect opportunity for us to do that and like just like it was great we immediately dropped into uh there was like a thing that comes up and then we get to like talk about it and be like oh this is what happened for me and like oh my gosh i'm sorry and like accountability and moving forward and learning and growth cool um so that makes me feel really good. I honestly am like terrified to just like be like, okay, I'm kind of making some money and I keep getting nudged to get apprentices and oh, here are the two perfect apprentices, your two good friends, Janae and Beth, who want to paint with you. I'm like, oh, duh. <laughs> of course I want to work with my friends. Hello. So why I came back to Boise to hang out with my buds. So, um, yep, we're, we had a couple of days of training, you know, uh, slow rolling, just like anything, there's a learning curve, there's a big learning curve here, but I'm excited because like Mango's got a little crew, and if Mango's got a crew, there's more things I can do. Yeah, so, great, love it. Um, still hanging out at Burger Time, doing more around the building, gonna be there for a while. Um, but other little odd jobs are coming along, and um, you know, y'all can let me know if you want some stuff. We're doing some fantastic things here. Uh huh, uh huh. Um, Mango's Troop, $25 an hour for whatever you want, high quality paint. 
and personalized service. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Um, blah, blah, blah. I'm looking at the sunset, by the way. I'm, like, looking over here because, like, the sunset's, like, going down. And there's pretty colors in the sky. And it's way better than trying to look at this, like, black oblivious dot. So it looks like I'm looking at you guys connecting. I'm, like, connecting with you. But I'm not. I'm looking at it invisible black dot for the illusion that I want to connect deeply with you. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, okay, bye.